all students today we will solve the numericals on belt conveyor so here it is a problem statement of belt conveyor problems a belt conveyor is to be designed to carry the bulk material at the rate of 300 into 10 raised to 3 kg per hour with the following details a uh, density of bulk material is given as 800 kg per meter cube then angle of repose of bulk material is given as a 15 degree then belt speed given as a 10 km per hour then material factor for plies k1 is uh, given as a 2 then belt tension and arc of contact factor k2 is given as a 63 then number of plies for the belts equal to 4 so this is the given data for our problem uh, determine the suitable width of the belt that is a capital b we are going to or we have to find out uh, belt width then second diameter and length of the drive pulley that we are going to find out so three objectives are there first we have to calculate the effective belt width and width of the belt second we have to calculate the diameter of the pulley drive pulley and third we have to calculate the length of the drive pulley so given data that is a mass density is given of the bulk material 300 into 10 raised to 3 kg per hour so we are converting it into the kg per second so divide it by 3600 so m is equal to 300 into 10 raised to 3 divided by 6 3600 then density of the material is given at 800 kg per meter cube then angle of repose psi is given as 15 degree then v speed of the belt is a 10 km per hour we are converting into the meter per second so v is equal to 3600 then k1 that is a material factor for plies 2 then k2 belt tension and arc of contact factor is a 63 then zp number of plies given as 4 therefore first we are going to calculate the effective or belt width m is equal to rho into q so we have a formula for mass capacity m is equal to rho q kg per second so q is the volumetric capacity of the belt conveyor which is equal to c into 0.9 b minus 0.05 square into v uh, therefore this parameter is called as a volumetric capacity of the belt conveyor into density of the material is called as a mass capacity for angle of repose 15 degree surcharge factor is 0.075 so putting all the values we are calculating here we are putting the value of uh, mass capacity then a uh, density then surcharge factor then here it is a uh, effective belt width formula and v belt speed so putting all the value we are getting uh, belt width b is equal to 0.8412 meter therefore final effective belt width or standard belt width is a uh, 850 mm so this is our first objective is fulfill next second diameter of the drive pulley so it is denoted by a capital d so d minimum is equal to k1 by k2 by zp so this is the standard formula to determine the diameter of the pulley so k1 is a 2 k2 is 63 and k3 and zp is 4 So K1 is 2, K2 is 63, and number of plies are 4. So putting the value, we will get the diameter of the drive pulley equal to 504 mm. So D is equal to 510 is the standard uh, pulley diameter for the drive pulley. Next third objective is to determine the length of the pulley LP. so the formula to determine the length of the pulley is a b plus twice s 
so b is a 850 mm in plus 2 into 75 is the side margin assume as a 75 mm so we will get the length of the pulley is equal to 1000 mm for the belt drive so in this way we determine the belt width then uh, diameter of the drive pulley and length of the pulley by using the different method of flat belt conveyor design now we will see one more problem on belt conveyor to determine the belt width diameter of the drive pulley then reduction ratio of the gear reducer so here it is a problem statement a tripper ply belt conveyor is required to transport 1.5 tons of iron ore per hour through a horizontal distance of 900 meter so the horizontal distance is 900 meter then height is a 300 meter the belt speed is 75 meter per minute if the mass density of iron ore is 2.5 tons per cubic meter determine belt width diameter of the drive pulley reduction ratio of gear reducer if the electric motor speed is 1500 rpm use the following data for flowability factor so this is a table given for flowability factor so we are we have to determine the angle of inclination then standard belt width are also given material factor for plies k1 2.5 belt tension and arc of contact factor k2 is 80 therefore given data zp Three number of plies, triple ply belt conveyor is there. Mass capacity one point five into ten raised to three kg per hour. Length nine hundred meter. Height three hundred meter. Belt speed seventy five by sixty. That will be one point twenty five meter per second. A density of material two point five into ten raised to three kg per meter cube. Then electric motor speed is one thousand five hundred rpm. therefore belt inclination by using the formula tan of alpha is equal to h upon lh so lh will be 900 and h is the 300 so by putting the value in the formula tan alpha is equal to h upon lh you will get the alpha equal to 18.43 degree so for 18.43 degree uh, angle of inclination flowability factor is a 2.5 into 10 raised to minus Four. Therefore, belt width is calculated. M is equal to rho into Q. Therefore, rho into K B square V is the our formula for mass density. Therefore, M is equal to rho K point nine B minus zero point zero five square into V into three thousand six hundred kg per hour. Putting all the value, you will get the belt width point eight sixty seven meter. therefore standard belt width is 867 mm now the standard belt width selected from the given values are 800 900 1000 so the nearest value is 900 mm so the standard belt width is selected as 900 mm next diameter of the drive pulley capital d so the diameter of the drive pulley is calculated by the formula d is equal to k1 k2 zp So putting the value of K1, K2, and ZP number of plies, we will get the diameter of the drive pulley equal to 600 mm. Next reduction ratio of the gear reducer capital G. For that, using the formula of cutting speed V is equal to pi d n upon 60. Therefore, n speed of the drive is n is equal to 60 v upon pi d. therefore the speed of the drive pulley is n is equal to 60 v upon pi d so putting the value of cutting speed and diameter in meter 
so you'll get the speed of the drive pulley is equal to 39.79 rpm therefore reduction ratio of gear reducer g is equal to uh, electric motor speed upon speed of the drive pulley therefore 1500 upon 39.79 so you'll get the gear ratio for speed ratio for gear reducer g is equal to 37.7 so in this way we can determine the uh, belt width then uh, belt width then uh, diameter of the drive pulley and speed ratio or gear ratio 